Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about incremental development and what that is. So let's get into it. So the question in question was pretty much that. Frederick, what does it mean when companies say that they work in an MVP fashion or an, in an incremental fashion? And the short answer is that that means that you build the smallest useful thing that you can build and then you ship that code before you start working on the next part of the feature. And then you keep on, you, it's like taking a baby step instead of really big leaps. So that the, del the delivery cycle is quicker even though the whole feature isn't finished. Now, the reason why this is very useful is on, it, it's really tough to cover all of that in one video because it's so useful for so many reasons. And I, I really believe that this is, if done correctly, the way to do all work in software development, just in general. So when we work as software developers, one of the problems that we will face is that unforeseen things are going to happen. That is something that is just, it's the nature of our profession. You start working on day one and you do some stuff and then there are some uncertainties. And then on day two, your, your stakeholders come in and say, hey, you know what, we forgot that we needed to do this and this and that and that as well. And all of a sudden the scope changes. You might have to go back and redo work and then continue. And after a few weeks of working, someone comes in and, and you know, you finally deliver the thing. And then someone comes in and says, hey, you know what? That's not what we're looking for. We should be able to do this and that and that as well. And now the whole system has been developed in a fashion that isn't real. Like you need to do even more work to redo all of the stuff that you just did. So one thing that really ha like happens so often in software development is that you sit and work for too long on something before you deliver it and then you get feedback on that delivery way after the whole thing has been finished and shipped and then it's not really the thing that you wanted and quite a few people feel that I don't want to go back and fix that and like redo the whole thing even though that might have been the right thing. So what working in an MVP fashion or an incremental fashion is about is to ask the fundamental question. What is the smallest thing that I can build right here, right now that takes one step towards the end goal? Now, instead of trying to go all the way to just say that, oh, okay, this is what we're building and then build the whole thing in one block, you just create the first deliverable as we call it. And the first deliverable is usually just something that can give a, a value in some fashion. To give you an ex example, one of the things that I absolutely love doing is to work when I'm working on something that say for the sake of argument is UI based. It's a web application of some sort. I always start with the UI layer, always with the front end layer, like the graphical interface, almost no exceptions. Because when I know that there's two components, I know that there's a UI layer and I know that there's a backend to that UI layer. I know that if something happens, and this is my personal rule, I always work in a fashion where I ask myself, if some, I you know because I, this is after I know what the specification is, I have the artboards and I have all the requirements and so forth. I've already gathered all, all that up and I've estimated this work to be something, something, right? I already know what I'm building, right? The first thing I always ask myself is, okay, so if I only had today to build this, I had like, I can, maybe I'm supposed to do this over several weeks or months, but I said, I have only one day now to ship this. All right, I'm not going to be able to finish all of this, but what's the thing that I could build in one day that would at least show somebody that I have done something useful for this project? Usually that is the UI layer because UI is something that you can show to someone. You can, it's very hard for you to, I mean, sure, you can go to a stakeholder and you can say, hey, I added this endpoint here. I can, you can now send a delete request or something like that, but that's not value creating. It's not, I mean, it doesn't do anything really. It doesn't really provide any tangible value or something that someone can comprehend as useful. It, uh, it doesn't really do much unless I have some integrator somewhere who really needs to hit that endpoint and like do something with it. Usually the UI is more important. So what I do is that I start with the UI, even if there's no server and I build something and then I commit that and I say, all right, if I still have more time, I will continue doing the next thing. Otherwise, I will merge that code in, even if it's not completely finished. Like, it might be that I'm making some type of panel and maybe I just had time to do the sidebar with the menu items. 
and they they don't do anything like you can click them but they will not lead anywhere but that's still value building because someone can hold up the artboards that i'm supposed to implement and see that oh okay cool we have a menu now and if i when i work in that fashion at some point i will have a ui that doesn't do shit at some point and what's nice about that is that some will ask okay but that's not very useful well technically it is because if you think about how, say, freelancers and other people who work with portfolios and like showing demo sites and stuff like that, I mean fake sites, how they work, I mean, you have this beautiful interface and you may not be able to do anything with it, but it doesn't have to because it is now demo ready. If my salespeople come in, and this has happened so many times, they come in and they say, oh shit, well, I promised that I, could, I have this, uh, because the salespeople, they are always selling air castles. They are always selling shit we're building right here today, usually. So now they need to demo the thing that isn't even finished. And because I started with the UI, I can tell them that, yeah, you can just show them and click through and like go to all the pages and show them like, a demo type of thing here, but the system doesn't actually connect to something on the back end. That's value building. That is an incremental approach to solving a problem and always focusing on the M the MVP mindset. You're always building the least the, the least amount of valuable the, uh, the most valuable thing that you can deliver in the shortest amount of time, right? And this has saved quite a lot of my sales coworkers when it comes to demo purposes and things of this nature. If this isn't possible, usually they do something like you seeing like the artboards themselves and just show static sites, right? But this is the incremental mindset. So you keep on working on something that is value building until you have reached the end goal. So for me, I usually start, as I said, with the front end. And then when I've implemented the whole thing and pretty much you can click on all the things, now it's time to wire everything up with the back end. Then I go to the back end and I think, okay, so now I need to hook all of these things up and then I start working on the back end. So while I'm working on the back end, I'm not touching the front end all that much. Well, but at the same, but at that time, the front end is now creating some type of value. Even if it's not a finished feature, the, there is a demo site, quote unquote, that people can use. And like my stakeholders, they can come in and they can even do testing. They can even test the UI and they would, don't have to wait for me to finish the backend. One of the worst things that you can do is to try to build both at the same time. I'm not saying that that's all, I mean, this is just what works for me. Because if you start working with, okay, you create this little box here and then you try to wire that up to the backend immediately. Well, then you might lock yourself in a situation where you can't ship the UI without finishing the backend. You have locked down the deliverable until you can only ship the whole thing. You can, like, but sure, you can also take the approach that you build some parts of the UI layer and some parts of the backend, and then you actually have a working system. You can split it however you want. I've just found that splitting on front end and back end when I have to do both is what works for me, but you can split it in different ways as well. So what I want you to take away from this is that working in an, in an incremental fashion or an MVP, or which stands for minimum viable product, just means that you build something, one small part of say a UI. Maybe if you have a panel, you create the side menu first. And then you just, you either merge that if you can ship it immediately, or you just get some feedback on that thing. And then you take the next step and then you do the next thing. And then the next thing. What's very useful about that is that you always have the option to just ship each part separately and that is especially when you're working in a large team it's very nice to not have to sit on a story that is maybe several weeks if if not oh well months long because the more i mean if other people are committing code to the master branch in your version control system it is very likely unless you work on a very isolated area that you will have conflicts and all kinds of overhead problems so if you can just merge every small piece that you're shipping all the time it becomes much easier for you to a much more smoother process, if you will. And when you're working in this fashion, you will always have something to show. You will always have something that can prove that you're taking steps in the right direction. And that's very useful because it might be useful even if it's not finished and it gives people the ability to click and like check out these small parts as they're being delivered and they can have an opinion on each part instead of just having to test the whole thing. And that's also useful from a quality perspective because if I ship this grandiose super feature, 
odds are that people won't actually find all the potential issues with each small little piece that I've delivered. But if they are allowed to test and play around with each small piece as we go along, odds are much higher that they will find problems and improvements and even figure out mistakes in the specification. And that is immensely useful because that avoids uh, creating that situation. I was saying that if you build the whole thing, that the end, at the end of it, we might figure out that shit, we forgot a bunch of stuff. This is at least what I've found to be very useful with incremental working or an MVP mindset. Have a great day.